Hey babes and welcome to a new video here on my channel. <laughs> I am so excited to be back. I really hope you guys have missed me. I've only been gone for a week but I still I feel like it's been forever um, and I've really missed doing videos even though it's been really hard to make videos. I'm in a really weird mood like I'm kind of feeling down all the time and stuff like that and all I do and film and every work related thing is like hard to do and I never get satisfied with the results I feel like but today I filmed and I'm so excited about this look the eye look is actually a recreation from a Alyssa Marie makeup look that I can put right here so you can see it. Um, I saw it on her Instagram a few days ago and it looked so cute so I wanted to recreate it like in a, my own way. So just quickly before I start this tutorial, if you are subscribed to my channel, if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. But if you are subscribed and not have clicked the bell, please do because I see that a lot of you guys that are subscribers of mine don't get to see my videos. You don't get notified on like your page, which is really, really annoying. Like even I, I follow my main channel on my second channel, if that makes any sense. And I don't even get my videos like in my video thingy. It's annoying so if you like me if you're subscribed then i guess that you like me hopefully uh please click the bell so you actually get my videos you don't have to watch them if you don't want to but i just want you to be able to click on my videos if that makes any sense so yes that is it now let's just get into the tutorial okay let's do this again i've tried to film this but everything just went wrong i had to redo my base well i haven't done it yet so it might fail again first off we are going to go in with the nyx professional makeup hydra touch primer i've never used this but i like the sound of it i think i haven't used it have i no i don't think so and as you guys can see i'm not naked i'm wearing like a adidas sweater and also Ugh. that <laughs> it's a bikini top from a weekday that i got the other day i love it so much the color is gorgeous so i'm wearing it as a top i don't know if that's allowed but that's what i'm doing so <laughs> and for foundation another new product this is the new sleek life proof foundation medium to full coverage it's the lightest shade but i've swatched it already on my hand and it oxidizes a lot i feel like and and it's way too pink tone for me but i just want to try it out so i am actually going to use this and mix in a little bit of the lightning drops from the bot shop oh you know what i just remembered that i was also going to try out the new urban decay uh one and done blur on the run that kind of fucked me up <laughs> um light to medium and this is like apparently you could have it like to blur out if your face has like cracked or your makeup has cracked <laughs> but i think it's set on the website you can also use it on like fine lines and stuff like that so um, i am going to try and use a little bit right here because that is like my problem area um and we'll see if maybe the foundation will lay better I haven't tried a foundation, so I don't know how it works really. Okay, I'm gonna use a sponge. This one is from LH Cosmetics. I should have dampened it, damp damped the damped in it, <laughs> but I haven't. And this might look super super light right now, but I think it will will, but I think that it will oxidize, as I said. You'll have to excuse me if I'm not like the funniest person in this video <laughs> because I'm still like, I don't know. I feel like I'm in a weird mood. I feel like everything that I do um, is bad and I feel like nobody likes me. <laughs> I think that it looks way more glowy than it would be if I hadn't mixed it with the lightning drops. So just have that in mind if you are looking to buy the foundation. 
Um, but yeah, for concealer, we're gonna use some of the Anastasia Beverly Hills concealer. This is in the shade Oi Po. Oh, yeah. 0.5. I don't love this, but I love that it is very pale. So let's just use a little bit of it underneath my eyes. And I'm also probably going to use it a little bit on my nose as well for some extra coverage. And now for a product that I've used before a lot. I use it like pretty much every single day right now. It is the Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, contour stick or like foundation stick in fawn so i'm gonna contour with this and i'm gonna use the navi cosmetics crystal brush to blend this out can you hear the rain And now I'm just gonna set every part that is like highlighted with the model's own Dare to Bear finishing powder in translucent. And I really love this one because it is like white. <laughs> I hope you guys can see that I feel like this like highlights a little bit as well. I think it blends in after a while, but like right when you put it on, it looks so good. I'm actually going to tell you guys uh, secret. <laughs> uh, I'm not gonna say the entire thing, but I have something with a brand coming up and I'm really excited about it and I really hope that you guys will like it because it's something that you are probably gonna like. I hope. <laughs> um, that's pretty much all I can say. But yeah, you will probably hear about it in like, I don't know, in a month or two. I'm really, really excited about it. And uh, I just hope that you will like it. So yeah, that's the secret. <laughs> just to set the contour a little bit, I'm gonna go in with Masai from Makeup Store. It is a very cool toned shade so i'm just gonna use it where i want to contour and not to bronze at all and then for blush i really want to go in with the afterglow palette from urban decay such a cute packaging as you guys can see and the inside is just as cute i think i haven't tried it at all uh but i think that i will go in with the shade score uh as blush because it looks very cute. Okay, I really like this. I really like it. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> it's like a peachy pink with a hint of gold. And as you guys know, I always use way too much blush. So don't complain, please. You should know me by now. <laughs> if you're not new here, then welcome. I use way too much blush. <laughs> I totally could have used the highlights in that palette as well, but I really want to go in with this one. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Amorisi highlights because I've been using this a lot and I really, really like it. Why am I talking like that? I'm not a baby. <laughs> Sorry. Because this one is so gorgeous. Okay, no, I think I will just have this oh my god i love this underneath my brow over my brow cheekbone cupid's bow chin and nose of course okay you know what i'm actually gonna use a little bit in the middle of the forehead as well done no you know what of course i'm gonna use some on my body a little bit on my neck and also right 
over here. So the base is done and now it is time for brows. And a lot of you guys have seen on Instagram that I've been doing my brows a little bit differently. I hope that you guys can see that my hair now goes from like more like a red red to like a ginger red. Does that make any sense? I hope so. And here I have two different shades from Inglot. So this is the one that I usually use. It's more like a gingery red. But now I use this one in the outer corner and this one in the inner corner of the brow. Alright, so the brows are done. I hope that you can see that it goes from like dark red kind of to like more gingery. I don't know. I think it looks cool. So I've been doing it now. <laughs> uh, but now for eyes, we are going to start off with the Androgyne palette from Jeffree Star Cosmetics. Sorry if you don't like me using Jeffree Star Cosmetics, but I actually really like the brand. And I still like that it's cruelty free and vegan. That is what I think about. We're gonna go in <laughs> with the shade Swallow. Uh, I might mix in a little bit of poison as well and we are going to use that um, both in my crease and underneath my eyes just to like blend it out, like a transition color pretty, out, pretty much. And now for the rest of the eyes, we are gonna go in with the Jaclyn Hill palette from Morphe. I really hope you guys can still get this. I've only used it like once and I've had it for so long. But the look that I did a couple of weeks ago, I did use this blue shade and it was amazing. So I think that we will go in with that one on the lid, but not in the middle of the lid, just like in outer corner and like inner corner, if that makes sense. Uh, and also underneath my eyes. And then I'm also going to use this one, but I will use this one in the inner corner. Okay, you will see what I do. <laughs> so this will not be like exactly like Alyssa Marie's look, obviously. She actually didn't even write what kind of eye product she used on the post or if I'm just stupid and couldn't see it. I always feel like a fish when I wear blue. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm like the little mermaid with my red hair. I should have long hair, but I don't. Should I get extensions? Do you think? Maybe not for summer. I don't know. And now for the like turquoise, turquoise, that is such a hard word. <laughs> the turquoise color and we'll use that in the inner corner. And now for the fun part and I think the hardest part, I'm gonna go in with the waterproof cream color in Coral Reef from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Actually gonna mix it a little bit with some Inglot uh, Duraline because this was not very slimy. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna go right above my natural crease. Okay, something like that. I'm gonna go in with another layer. I'm so bad at cut creasing, but I don't know if you guys can see it, but I really don't like how it looks right here. This foundation might not be my favorite. <laughs> we'll probably go in with like a bright orange uh, eyeshadow just to set it as well. <sighs> Oops. Okay, I must say I'm very, very disappointed. I cannot find a single neon orange eyeshadow. I don't have any. Like the only ones that are neon orange enough, it's not even neon. The one that I found was uh, Sugar Pills Flame Point. And then also, I can't see what it is, but it's from NYX Professional Makeup. It's one of the blushes. Like, I want that. Please help me out. If you know any eyeshadow like that, please tell me because I'm, I'm shook. Okay, I think it is dry now. It does feel very, very thick on my eyes. It feels very weird. 
but I am gonna go in with the same cream color and use it in my waterline and I just hope that that is okay. I actually don't know, <laughs> but I'm gonna do it now, so watch me. <laughs> Okay, like that. And now I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of the blue shade. And I'm also going to go in with uh, like a, just a dark shade. You can use a black or whatever. And I'm just gonna darken uh, the sides right by the orange. And we're gonna use the same brush. Okay, and note if you guys try to do this, I would not do it again with the cream color because it doesn't really look that good when you're up close, it looks very cakey and weird. So either use a, if you can find a neon orange or use like a eyeliner, lip liner, so much better, I think. Uh, but now let's go in with a little bit of lashes. These are Rouge and Rogue Cocoa lashes. They are limited edition, I think. So if you want them, be sure to get it. And you know what? I have gotten my own affiliate link, oh my god, <laughs> with Rouge and Rogue. So if you would like to get 10% off, you can just type Evelina in the checkout coupon code thingy and you will get 10% off, which is super good. It will benefit you guys and also benefit me because it's a affiliate link. So I get like a little bit of money if you buy something with my link or coupon code if that makes any sense, but it doesn't really affect you more than you get it. You get a discount. <laughs> what am I saying? Uh, yes, lashes and also the Isadora Big Bold Waterproof Mascara. And now for lips, I'm first gonna go in with Nabla Cosmetics Liquid Lipstick in Closer. This is actually the first time that I'm using this, uh, this shade. And also, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but pretty much all of my lip fillers are gone. Um, so I'm gonna outline my lips a lot more than I used to do. <laughs> I've actually been loving gloss lately. I don't know why, I never liked it before, but we're gonna go in with the Urban Decay Hi-Fi Shine Lip Gloss in Midnight Cowgirl. Okay, let's remove this and do something a little bit about this hair. And I love my hair today. What is going on? All right, you guys, so this is the finished result. I am in love with it. Like, I think it looks so cool with the orange and the blue. People that say blue-eyed people can't wear blue is, I was gonna say stupid, but let's just say that they, they, they don't know. They should try it. Look how cute it looks. <laughs> the lip is really nice. It's a really nice nude. And I really love these lip glosses from Urban Decay. I just got all of them yesterday. And I think that they are really, really, really nice to wear. They're not sticky or anything. And they smell like mint. And they are kind of like minty, if that makes any sense. <laughs> But yeah, that is the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and are happy that I am back here on YouTube, even though I've only been away for like a week, but it feels like forever. Um, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like so I know that you enjoyed it. And please subscribe if you haven't already. And I hope we'll see each other in the next video. Bye.